is Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts and I'm here with a VR for three lovely crafters. Now I've got all the information written down because I'll forget otherwise. So excuse me if I'm looking at my little clipboard but um, yes, what is it Winnie the Pooh says? He's a bear of very little brain and oh, I feel like that sometimes. Today is one of those days. So the I will do in order of the closing date for the challenges. The first is lovely Jackie at JMC Creates. Her um, giveaway is closing at the end of January. She would like you to send her a card and this is a giveaway to celebrate her 400th subscriber. Um, I will link Jackie's channel so you just need to hop on there and um, have a look. Somebody's moaning at me, it's Ozzy. Uh, one of my cats in case you've not met me before. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'll link these ladies' channels so you can hop on there and find the video for their giveaway um, and you'll be able to get Jackie's email address from that and everything you need to enter. Um, then on the 3rd of January, this one closes, it, uh, oh no, I'm talking rubbish, the end of January it closes. This is for Penny's Crafty Creations and Penny's birthday was on the 3rd of January. So this is her 50th birthday. Um, so she's having a challenge for, just to help celebrate that. She would like you to send her an ATC, a twin she, and something that you like to make um, and to do a VR for her. Um, so I will tag Penny in this and again you can hop on over to her channel and find all the information that you need to enter her giveaway from the appropriate video there. Um, and then last but definitely not least is the lovely Carboot Crafter um, and you have a little bit longer for this one. This is her fourth anniversary challenge and she's running it until the 1st of March um, so she would like you to like and comment her giveaway video which you'll find on her channel and she would like you to send her an ETC with your address and birthday and um, likes and dislikes that sort of thing on it but also something that you like to make so it's um, your own choice for what you send and um, if you are able to do a VR or shout out on your social media, then she would be very grateful for that. So that is our, my three um, VRs that I wanted to do. And um, yeah, if, if any of those um, channels are new to you, please hop on over and have a wee look and subscribe, leave them a comment, like a couple of videos. I'm sure it would make their day. It always makes my day when somebody does that for me anyway. So, um, so yeah. I have been very busy since I last spoke to you. On Monday, I think, I made a video about my ribbon project, which was this. I'm still waiting on my journal to arrive to um, hook it onto, but I made this journal ribbon dangle clip thing. I'm sure there's a proper name for it, but anyway. And um, as part of that, it's part of um, Pink Bubble Cards Alphabet Challenge. Um, and while I was thinking about what to do, I pulled out my ribbon stash and I was a bit horrified at how much ribbon I had. Because I rarely use it. I can't think when I last used ribbon in a project. So I had this box, which takes up a whole square in my IKEA Kallax unit. And it was jam-packed full of ribbon. So I started rearranging. Now, I made up four little baggies to give away because if you watch the video for long enough, eventually, in amongst all my blethering, I um, said that if you would like some of my ribbon that I am not keeping hold of, to use the word bag in the comment and I would pick a couple of people to send it out to. So I had four people and I thought, you know what? I've got so much ribbon, I'll send it to all four. So those people were Lorna Callahan. I've got Lorna's address, so it's all packaged up and ready to go. Uh, Hilary from Pink Bubble Cra Cards. Always want to see crafts. Um, 
Again, I've got Hillary's address, so that is packaged up. Um, Lorraine Hilligars, who I do not have her address. So, Lorraine, I did leave a wee message on your comment to say, could you please send me your postal address and I will get that um, sent off to you. I've given you my email address, so you can do that in private. And Irene Patton, who I have your address, but I understand you're moving house, so when you get settled, let me know your new address and I'll send it out to you. Um, you'll not be wanting it while you are getting ready for the move, I presume. So, um, that's where some of it ended up. So I've got four baggies like this with just some random ribbon in it. I also, let me show you what I did. I have I put aside the Christmas stuff. So I've got this wee bag of Christmas ribbon and this bag which is wired Christmas ribbon and I've put that in with my Christmas stuff because you don't need to be falling over that all year round. And then let me show you. So uh, this here I have sorted out drawers. They had um, sort of rubbish in it. So I'll pull them down and show you what I have done. Uh, excuse my hands there. So for ribbon, I've put it into two boxes, two drawers anyway. So I kind of went through all the ribbon that I had. I don't know why I bought half of it. I presume I've bought it like maybe an eBay in a big grab bag or something but I kind of went through all the what do I really like and I like the gingham ribbon so I gathered up all my gingham and put that in a wee baggie. I like tartan, being Scottish. So I've got a whole bag of tartan and I've also got quite a long bit of tartan ribbon that's like wired. And this was on a reel, but that took up quite a lot of space. So I just took it off the reel and kind of folded it. And the great thing about the wire ribbon is it sits nicely like that. I like a spotty ribbon. So this is, this is all, I don't know if you can see, kind of polka dot. Um, I think all these little reels of it I got in maybe Tiki Max years ago a big bag of them and I've used quite a lot of it but that's what's left of that um, and then I ordered this specifically for trimming um, cross stitch projects uh, it's like a measuring tape so I've kept that and I ordered this little butterfly thing I think for ribbon bookmarks so I've kept that too and then these ones I ordered, or I didn't order, I bought them in South Africa when we were there. So you can see the price in Rand. Um, so they've got some pretty protea. I think that's what I bought it for really. But I also love these, is it Monstera? I can't remember. Um, but that which reminds me of my um, late mother-in-law. She had a big plant like that in her garden. Um, there's more Pratia here and here and uh, this one is kind of love themed which I like too. So that's all of that. Now as I said there I did um, mention ribbon bookmarks so when I used to do craft fairs, I used to sell ribbon bookmarks as well. So I pulled out, I had another drawer like this that was just for ribbon bookmarks. And there was hardly anything in it because I haven't done a craft fair for, well, since COVID started really. Hopefully I will get back to it. So this is the little stash of ones I had that are started. So I've cut them, I've got some charms on maybe, I've got the little, um, clampy things like I used for my um, ribbon dangles. Oops, those little things there. So I've just put them in a wee baggie. I had started doing some uh, rainbow ones. 
So I've put them in a wee baggie too. Um, I also used to make with beads little angel things and I used these ribbons to sort of hang them on. So I've kept, I've got a big wodge of the rainbow ribbon and this other rainbow ribbon. I've kept those. Um, and then I've got some of this, I think it's maybe called organza ribbon. It's really sort of fine, so I have just left it on the reels because it seemed like the most sensible way to keep it. So I've kept a lovely navy blue, a red, a green and a gold. Plus I've got a wee bit of this red with a sort of dotted line and then this lovely makes me think of the sea you've sort of got it you're not really seeing the shimmery there anyway it's got a shimmer to it <laughs> the other thing i've got in this drawer that i might be slightly crazy for but i've got six rolls of this i think you're meant to use it for weddings um i used to make christmas card hangers with it um they were like long and you hung them on the door and you could move little bits up and down to put the um, cards in and they were pretty popular but they used to stress me out a bit because this wasn't really heavy enough like when they didn't have when they had cards on them they looked really good but when they weren't fully um, filled with the cards um they used to look a bit of a mess but anyway people used to really like them but they were such a faff to make so i've stopped making them but um i still had rolls and rolls of it and i just kept it so then i was on a bit of a roll and And I also had <laughs> sort of lace and trims and um, twine and things. And I thought, well, that's sort of related to ribbon. So that was in a big, deep drawer that I've got in another unit. So I sorted all of that. So I've got this one here, which is mostly lace, but also some of this gorgeous, um, I can't remember what it was called it's like sari silk it's the most amazing colours I bought it off somebody on uh, Etsy and I love it for like a journal or tying something up it's just beautiful so I've put little scraps of um, lace in these wee baggies that I found um, I had some that is like, I bought this on sale for a pound at the range um, and it's all nicely packaged up so I've just kept it. Other bits I've like made little, um, things to wrap it around <laughs> and some little ones. And then I've got this big bit, which I have no idea what I would use for. But it fits in the drawer. And I guess if I've not used it in a year or something, I should just stick it in a charity shop and let somebody else have fun with it, whatever they would do. So yeah, so that's my lace drawer. And then I also um, have this one, which is sort of trim fibery things so this is some like sort of fibers um i don't really know what you call them but they might be used in journals or things i've got a little tub of baker's twine um i think this came in a paper craft society box and i've got little ones and I just I think I went through a phase whenever I saw them on special I bought them possibly I used to order stuff off um 
if you craft a pound and things. It used to be, I don't order so much because I think the postage got quite expensive or you had to spend a lot of money to get postage at a reasonable price and I don't need to buy loads of tact just to for that. So I think I used to buy things like this on there. Then I've also got quite a bit of Rick Rack. So I sorted it all out. I made it little, um, that's a really narrow one. I've got a little white one. I think maybe Dawn sent, um, Sutton sent me that with an order. I've got some pink. I've got some rainbow. I do love a bit of rainbow. And these are sort of for cross stitch finishing projects. I've got this beautiful like leafy trim I think somebody sent me that in a swap and I think somebody sent me this gorgeous flowery trim um, this is like fine tinsel I mean I don't know what I'll do with it but I probably just bought it because I thought oh that that makes me smile and it still makes me smile so it's got a place maybe it'll get used on some cross stitch Christmas decoration or something. I've got little bells. I don't really know where else to put them so they're in here because they might well get used on like a cross stitch Christmas decoration. And then the rest is all a uh, bobble trim. I've got some sort of little mini ones and some bigger chunky ones and I've sorted it all out so I've got uh, different colours there got some green some different colors of blue red pink like hot pink and baby pink and be nice so yeah so all of that is sorted oh plus I've got some of it was in kind of poor condition and um, it was some of it was just rubbish that had come on like I've got fleecy blankets all over all the furniture because of the cats. Not over all the furniture. Not like over the fridge or anything, but the sofa, the chairs, everything. And they always, I just buy them in Primark. They wash up to be nice. And they come with like a sort of a ribbony thing on it. <coughs> Excuse me. I've kept those. Why? Who knows? So I've binned all of that. And then this, I think, is quite nice stuff. Um... And so I'm going to pop that in my charity shop bag the next time I go. Um, I've got this adhesive lace. I'm going to stick that in the charity shop bag. And these are all kind of reels of sort of satiny kind of ribbon. I have obviously bought all of these. Uh, there's like purple, lilac, pink white cream I don't know if I thought I was gonna do like something weddingy with them or what I thought I was gonna do but you know what somebody will find that in the charity shop I think that's just the job so that's where I'm gonna send that so my my box is empty I have considerably I mean that looks like it takes up as much space but it's it's the box plus a skinny drawer plus like a fat drawer that's twice that height has all been reduced down into these four drawers plus that little bit in my Christmas storage. So I'm feeling quite accomplished. Um, I mean, obviously, there's a lot still to do, but... Um, it's a start, isn't it? And I've, it definitely has kind of G'd me up a bit. Um, so I am ready to tackle something else. I might wait and see because I think the next prompt for the um, alphabet challenge might be coming out quite soon from Hilary. So I might wait and see what the next letter is and if that's something I've got a hoard of then maybe I'll do that next um so because you know what I, well I shouldn't I'm not want to lump you all in with me but quite a few people did comment that oh I've got a whole load of ribbon as well 
and and uh, I was joking um, in my comments with Andrea saying I think I need a crafters anonymous I have like I have a problem when I look at all the stuff and think I've bought that like there'll be the odd bits and pieces that somebody sent me in a pocket letter or a swap or but like I've bought that a lot of it most of it I've gone into a shop or I've sat on eBay um, so however I'm not going to beat myself up about it I have now it is really organized so if I know that I've got a project where I need some ribbon or some lace or some trim I know what I've got I can go to it and have a look and I'm going to try and do that before I purchase um, and I did throw out other stuff that I had that I thought I don't think anybody else will want it. It's kind of rubbish. You know, I, well, I'm, I keep junk stuff that I think, oh, I could reuse that for something. <laughs> I never do. So, I've, this is the year. You wait, there'll be a craft room tour before the year's out. I mean, it's only the 11th of January, so I've got plenty of time. <laughs> but, um, but that is my mission. I would love to be able to have it, have my craft room a bit more sorted so that I could... I could do a little video and show you what, what I've got in my craft room and how I store things and feel proud of that rather than, as I say, ashamed of the piles of stuff you see in the background. So, so I have waffled on for long enough. I will head on over um, to YouTube and upload this and um, as I say, if, if Lorraine could send me her postal address and then I will get her bag of ribbon sent off um yeah take care I hope that you're all having a good week um we are having a busy week I've had been at the dentist my hubby's had he had a doctor's appointment yesterday the cat's got the vet tomorrow and um my car's getting an MOT <laughs> I think Friday we are appointment free so We'll be able to relax then. <laughs> so yeah, I hope that you're having a less need for appointments in your week and I will see you back very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.